Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at how to uh, create, write into and read uh, files uh, when you have an array of data for example. Now in this uh, video there's going to be a couple of new uh, concepts or stuff that won't be that I won't be going through too much in details because it will overcomplicate uh, stuff and it just won't be a good explanation with uh, as of now so uh, hopefully I'll be able to explain that in my later on videos when we look up all the other stuff in order to be able to explain it fully okay so let's first of all create oops that's in Japanese a variable called data or array data it doesn't matter and we are going to create oh, this don't forget the semicolon and inside what you're going to do is say uh, I don't know like John and John could have uh, 10 things and let's say uh, Matthew has 20 things I'm just making this up and Tom has 30 things and J James have 40 things and so on okay now we want to write this array of data into a file and then uh, read it later on and we're going to read it into our uh, console using ty.api.info so first let's say we create a variable file equals and what it does is uh, no I need to write the code first you say ty or titanium dot file system dot get file what it does you it gets the file and inside that this is the complicated file, uh, bit ty dot file system dot resources directory okay and it's going to be my data dot text now don't worry about all of this thing nor this this is just the name of the text but what it basically is it's just like the directly we uh, directory we use when we are writing and reading data or at least that's what I use and hopefully I'll be able to explain more about this or talk more about this in details in my later on videos but not now just think of it as like one of the rules you have to follow when you're uh, trying to get a file now what if the file mydata.txt doesn't exist so what we're going to do is create an if statement and say inside that if oops I need to do it inside file.exists okay and what we're going to do is say if it doesn't by Putting an explanation mark at front, and we are going to write a uh, block of code that executes if the file doesn't exist. And what we need to do is create the file, create file, like so. Simple. Now, what we're going to do is write the data into a file. File dot write. <coughs> now, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> mm. now okay as of now the data is still is in a form of an array and what we want to do is turn it into a string so what we use is a command called json dot stringify and that turns the array of data the variable data into a string okay so it's going to write it in a form of a string so that it's easy to read let's create a variable called content equals and what we're going to do is read the file that we created which is my data.txt which was written the data the very the array of data was written using the file.write and it was turned into a string using this json.stringify and we are going to read the file using the var content equals file.read and we are going to uh, output this variable content so that we could uh, have this data in our console now uh, what we're going to do is use the ty.api.info and what we're going to do is use json.pass so that it's something easier to read when we are uh, outputting it in the console this is another thing I'm not going to talk about too much in details as of now uh, if you're already really desperate to know about the ty.filesystem.resource directly three uh, json.stringify or json.pass I think yeah pass is in uh, 
If you've done JavaScript jQuery uh, JSON, I think you'll be able to understand what pass is. But if you're desperate to know you, uh, the official API documentation for Titanium Studio is your friend. So let's run our iPhone simulator. Now because we don't have any window, tab preview, label and we don't even have win op uh, window open, although this iPhone simulator is going to uh, load, it's not going to have any app uh, visual app thing inside here. It's going to stay at the red background with the titanium icon with this one basically. And what we want to look at is, okay the script isn't working so let's check what's wrong. Let's close this. Uh, Ty.api.info json.pass cont. Oh, the variable name was different. I put my variable name as content too, but it was in contents, which could, which is a problem. Okay, hopefully now I don't have any more errors because that was an error on the last page and you tend to look from the top and if there was an error anywhere above it they'll point it out first so hopefully it's everything's going to work now ignore this iPhone simulator and let's go over here and there we go if we put this higher yep there my first project which is the name of my project and we have all the data so John uh, James equals 40, John equals 10, Matthew equals 20, and Tom equals 30. And the cool thing about it is that they automatically uh, re reorder it in alphabetical order. So there we go. That was a quick video on how to uh, create, write, and read files in Titanium. And hopefully this wasn't too complicated. I understand there were a lot of uh, new concepts or pieces of code that you didn't understand that I didn't explain in this video, but hopefully you get the basic understanding of uh, get file, file.create file, and file.write. Oh, these file is basically the variable name if you haven't got it yet. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.